and welcome to the Delport 2 docking station walkthrough. In this video, we will help you identify the different components and connectors on the ePort docking station. Front of dock. There is a sliding bar at the top of your dock. This is the battery bar adjuster. You will not need to make any adjustments to this. Technology Support Service will install a separate component that will eliminate the need for adjusting. This is the alignment mark. This is used to help you line up the laptop for docking. At the top right, the power button for the dock is located. The power button will be solid blue when it's on, or slowly flashing when in sleep mode. This big button on the corner is the eject button. This button uncouples the dock connector from the laptop connector. The switch on the right side of the dock is the lock and unlock switch. This lock and unlocks the eject button. It is used to prevent users from ejecting the laptop accidentally. This connector out on the lip of the dock is the docking connector. This is where the laptop connects to the dock. On the back of the dock, many of the components on the back of the dock will be used by the TSS technicians to set up your docking station. Here are the components you may find useful. This is the eSATA connector. Both of the rear USB connectors are USB 3.0. Left side of the dock. There are a few more components on the left side. Here are the audio connectors. The top connector is for the speakers or headphones. The bottom connector is for the microphone. The three USB connectors here are USB 2.0. The Dell ePort 2 docking station will allow you to quickly and easily attach your laptop to the computer peripherals on your office desk. We hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions regarding anything covered, please contact the help desk at extension 2326 or email us at helpdesk at bhcc.mass.edu. Thank you for watching.